Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina with her sister Sheikh Rehana visited the dream for the bridge. Chief Justice Hassan Fawaz Siddiqui has been sworn in. President Abdul Hamid made him read the oath. Government will begin its nationwide COVID-19 vaccination program again from tomorrow, January 1st. Mild cold waves sweep over Ponchugor and Kurigram districts and it may continue and spread further over the country. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my TV news and finance. It's been with you in the newsroom today watching your lines. Now the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina visited the Dream for the Bridge. It is learned that she worked with he, her younger sister Sheikh Rehana from Pillar Nong 7 to Pillar Nong 18 of the bridge at the time. On Friday, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina visited the Dream Bridge in the south. The Prime Minister took the car and reached the bridge at 7.50 a.m. through Amawa. At around 8.30 a.m., Zazira descended through the edge of the bridge. She had breakfast with her sister in the service area of the bridge at the end of Jajira. Later, she crossed the bridge and came back by road. Newly appointed Chief Justice Hassan Fawaz Siddiqui has been sworn in. President Abdul Hamid made him read the oath. The oath-taking ceremony was held at Bongo Pabon today at 4 p.m. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, Speaker of Parliament Shirin Sharmin Shudri, invited guests, including senior members of the cabinet, important persons of different political parties. Judges, senior lawyers were present at the oath-taking ceremony in the Bongo Pabon. Earlier on Thursday, the President Abdul Hamid appointed Justice Hassan Fawaz Siddiqui as the 23rd Chief Justice of the country. Awami League General Secretary and Minister of Road Transport and Bridge, Obadul Qadir, said that the only achievement of the BNP was the rejection of the people in the election and the utter failure in the movement. He was speaking at a briefing at his residence today in the response to a statement from the BNP Secretary General on the failure of the movement to overthrow the government for more than a decade and forcing the government to resign. Obadul Qadir said no warm-up will work and people have recognized BNP because of negative politics. BNP Secretary General Major Fokhri Samalamgir said that there is no alternative to the movement if it wants to bring back democracy and release Kaladasiya. The BNP Secretary General said that Fokhri Din Moinuddin had a minus two formula during the 111 government. Sheikh Hasina brought it to minus one by concluding with a dam. Major Fokhri was speaking at a discussion meeting organized by the BNP at the Nusrul Hamid Auditorium of Dhaka Reporters Unity today. BNP Standing Committee members Goy Shuchandra Roy, Salima Rahman, Vice Chairman Barrister Shah Jahan Omar, Biruttam, Nitai Roy Chowdhury were present in the meeting. The government will begin its nationwide COVID-19 vaccination program again from January 1st. Around 3 crore of people will get vaccine doses under the mass inoculation program across the country. Dr. Samsul Hogg, Member Secretary of the COVID-19 Vaccine Management Task Force Committee of DGHS confirmed the matter. This time, the vaccination campaign will continue to every villages and ward side-by-side -side towns, Samsul Hogg said. The mild cold wave may sweep over Ponchugor and Kurigram district and it may continue and spread further over the country in the next 24 hours, said Bangladesh Meteorological Department in a weather bulletin issued on Friday. The country's Met Office said in the weather bulletin that the weather may remain dry with a temporary partly cloudy sky over the country. Besides, light to moderate fog may occur at places over the country from midnight to morning. The country's maximum temperature was recorded 29 degrees Celsius yesterday at Feni and Shitakondo of Chattogram Division, while today 
today's minimum temperature was a recorded 8.4 degrees Celsius at Tetulia in the Rongput Division. Four people, including a woman, were killed when a bus overturned and fell on the roadside and hit a van in Salanga of Shirajkonj. At least 10 others were injured in the incident. The accident took place at the Goza Bridge area of Salanga Police Station on Hatikomrul Banpara Highway at around 10 a.m. on Friday. The names of those killed were not immediately available. Hatikumrul Highway Police said a Dhaka bound bus of national travels carrying passenger from Ratshe lost control when it reached Goja Bridge area of Shalanga Police Station on Hatikumrul Banpara Highway in Shiraj Konj at around 10 a.m. on Friday. We are about to the end the headlines once again. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina with her sister Sheikh Rehana visited the dream for the bridge. Chief Justice Hassan Poy Siddiq has been sworn in. President Abdul Hamid made him read the oath. Government will begin its nationwide COVID-19 vaccination program again from tomorrow, January 1st. Mild cold waves sweep over Ponchogor and Kurigram district and it may continue and spread further over the country. A bomb exploded in southwestern Pakistan late Thursday, killing at least four people, injuring other 15. And Bangladesh will face New Zealand in the Mount Mangadu test tomorrow. Thanks for Thanks for being with us. To join with My TV News Online, visit YouTube slash My TV News. To watch all our program, visit YouTube slash My TV Bangla, Facebook slash My TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast 7:30 p.m. Stay connected and Allah Hafiz.